In today's lesson, you're going to learn about the angle sum theorem. And the angle sum theorem, the word theorem, is pronounced like this. Theorem. And it's sort of like this root word, theory. And basically, it just means you have an idea. So a theorem is an idea that somebody has never been able to prove is wrong. We don't know why it works, but it always works because nobody has ever proven that it doesn't. So the angle sum theorem is a pattern that always happens with triangles. And the pattern is that if you add this angle with that angle, and the third angle, if you add them all up, it always equals 180 degrees. Even in this triangle, if you add up these three angles, they add up to 180 degrees. Even this skinny little isosceles triangle over here, if you add these all up, it also sums to 180 degrees. So the main idea today is that if you have a triangle, the sum of all three angle measures is equal to 180 degrees, always. Let me show you an example of what I mean. Here's a red triangle, and two of the angles have degrees, 28 and 50. But the third angle is a mystery. So what I can do is set up an algebra equation here that represents my theorem that all three angles, when added together, sum to 180 degrees. So I can use my calculator to combine these like terms and turn them into a 78. Then in order to figure out what x is equal to, I simply subtract 78 from both sides of my equation, and that's how I got my answer of 102 degrees for x. x is equal to 102 degrees. And I know that because my theorem says if I add up all three numbers, they have to equal 180. Let's try another one. Here's my triangle. Here are my three pieces of information. And here's my theorem. Angle 1 plus angle 2 plus angle 3 has to equal 180 degrees. So I use my calculator to add these up, and I get 111. Then I use my subtraction property of equality to get my letter x, oops, sorry, to get my letter x all by itself. Now some of you may see the problem in a different way, where you add this together maybe in your head or on a calculator, and then you just subtract it in from a calculator like this. This is also correct. The only reason I don't show it this way is because eventually I'm going to put letters in all of these spots, and then this mental math method won't work as well. But for the first three questions on your Desmos lesson today, those, uh, that either method will work fine. Now let's talk about this one other triangle. Let's talk about one that looks like this. What if I told you that this angle didn't have a number, but it had a little box? Maybe this angle is a 30, and maybe this angle is an x. Do you actually know how big that angle is? Do you know what that box stands for? How many degrees it means? Hopefully you understand that that's a right angle. And a right angle means that you measure 90 degrees. So 90 plus 30 plus x has to equal 180. That's my theorem. That's what we're learning today. How to turn a drawing into an algebra equation. Once you turn it into an algebra equation, you can solve it by combining like terms, using the addition or subtraction property of equality, and figuring out what x is. That's it. 
So pause the movie now and start uh, slides four, five, and six in your Desmos lesson. Then come back here to learn how to do slides eight, nine, and 10. All right, did you pause the video? Did you try those three questions? Hopefully you got them right. Now let's move on to the level two or the more challenging part of this lesson. Look and learn from this example that I have here on the screen. It's also listed as slide number seven in the Desmos lesson. Pause the video and look at my color coding, look at what was combined together, look what resulted in, and carefully look at all of the signs. All right, did you pause the video? Did you really look at all of the math? Did you really look at all the numbers? Do you notice what happened here with my plus one and my minus five? Did you see what it turned into? So pay very close attention to those signs. Now, you can skip this step right here that I wrote. You don't have to rearrange the problems that way. You can do this combining in your head. See how I'm kind of looping these all together? Because they're all like terms. 5x plus 4x plus 14x. That's how I got this. Now, the second part is a little bit trickier. If you look carefully here, you have a plus 1. But if you look carefully there, you have a minus 5. So on your calculator, you would type 1 and then minus 5. And if you're typing it correctly, your calculator will tell you negative 4 is your answer. So pay close attention to the signs of each number. All right, now that you've had a chance to look at an example, let's start one problem together. Look at all three measurements and write your algebraic equation, right? Angle one plus angle two plus angle three all equals 180 degrees. Combine your x's together and look carefully at their signs. 5x plus 9x plus 11x. Use a calculator if you need to. I got 25x. Now be very careful here. That's a minus 3. That's a minus 5. And that's a plus 13. So on my calculator, I'm going to type negative 3, right? That's a negative sign. Subtraction 5, because there's another minus sign and then plus 13. So make sure you're typing that in your calculator correctly because you want to get the correct sign for your answer here, which is positive five. Isolate your letter X by using the subtraction property of equality and separate your coefficient by dividing. And all you need to do is type this answer into Desmos and you can check your work. So that is how you take a drawing, turn it into a math equation, and solve for the letter X. Good luck on your Desmos lesson.